शूट शूट नो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ विच इज कमिंग इज सो वॉट आर यू इन क्रिकेट टीम सो इफ यू लाइक क्रिकेट वॉट इज दैट यू आर प्लेइंग अ रोल वेन यू प्ले क्रिकेट इन योर टीम हाउ यू नेम योर सेल्फ इधर युवराज और सचिन सो नवीन वॉज वेरी गुड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ही सेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज आज टू नो अबाउट द जजमेंट यू गिव to your style of work and it's an interpretation of your answering to a question which is a cricket your interest but it is to to be derived how you will play an important role or how you see yourself to play your role in in the workplace so he said sir i'm an all rounder i'm little more near to yuvraj still i am me because i think i'm a good batsman and when there is a need for me to score more i love doing it this is how navin has answered so look at the approach again the sixth question which is kind of a tricky and a case study question is hmm great to hear uh, let's think about a situation where you are a player in a team and your team is losing the match what you do from your side to help your team now this question is to test your ability as a team player here comes the same role to be played in the company also so answer it in such a way that you are helping your team try and understand the psyche behind it gets easier for you to answer every question so it's it's related to see how navin answers is so it's related to my position in the game if i am on the ground i try to hold on my place if i am batting i would like to score maximum if i am bowling i would like to have all the bo- balls being bowled ducks no runs scored or maybe take wickets if i am a fielder i would like to throw myself every place stop runs or maybe try attempting as many catches as possible so that will be my role on ground let's say if i am outside the ground then i'll try to encourage the players by maybe shouting hooting and encouraging motivating my my fellow team members by giving them some suggestion if it is possible for me to give suggestion i would like to give suggestions maybe don't uh, put a ball on the uh, on the off side he's stronger there maybe put it on a block hole and put it on in front of his leg so that it becomes highly unplayable take you you never know that you might take wicket if you are putting it to your strength and his weaknesses so i'll try and pass on such suggestion to my friend and uh, whatever that best i can do at that point of time i will definitely do to be to sound like a team player how beautifully answered the next question is what are your interest see uh, never club your likes and interest likes can be different and interest can be different be clear with what your interest is what your hobby is and what your passion is you need to differentiate interest is something that you would like to do when the, when you get time when you have a free time and you enjoy doing it but passion is something that you like to do all the time right and you need to differentiate both the answers so let's try and understand the psyche behind how to answer a question which is typically based on your interest or passion right let's say if a hobby is something which you regularly do in your free time and passion is having a strong emotion which is barely controllable uncontrollable make sure that you never tell watching television as your hobby this may put you in a bad impression uh, as a profession if you feel you are a damn sure that you uh, that you like uh, television uh, watching something very specific and you have an answer go ahead and do it right uh, make sure that you are ready to answer it and answer it logically uh, how navin was able to you know pull off this question is by answering i have interest in film making because he has answered it earlier so he is clubbing how consistent he has become see i have interest in film making and my hobby is playing video games cricket browsing internet and sometimes writing stories for my films everything whatever he said he can be able to you know protect his argument that's the reason he is so consistent and conscious lot right this gives an idea uh, to also discuss your passion if you are if you are answering something on your passion part which you would like to you know do it uh, every now and then 
I think you need to be very clear that tell them that why you do it because you never get stressed one even if you get stressed doing that will always help you to uh, reach your destination your dream objective dream goal you know the set objective that you are working for so you never get tired doing it you always find you know uh, you know very uh, refreshed rejuvenated when you are doing this you never get bored of it right and there is always this one objective which you need to chase so you are very very focused doing that the next question is based on how you are answering this what types of video games you play so answer in a technical perspective right entertainment perspective categorize it clearly why you like video game support yourself for what you got attracted to the game so how navin was able to answer it let's see his answer i play ea sports cricket and temple run all versions and puzzle word games i feel like they need a lot of concentration on focus on to them when we play it if we are out of focus even for some time then the game is over i like puzzle games and cube games too so what a way to answer what you derive from the game what you derive from your interest what you derive from in your passion is something which you need to relate it to the hr and say it so convincingly that there is a reason there's a logic behind it you know why i do it let's have the next question also uh, you said your hobby is browsing so this hr is very clever he's catching he's paying attention to whatever navin is saying so far and he's able to put uh, him on the spot so he's trying his level best to maybe interpret what has been answered and make a question out of it so the questioner the hr says you said your hobby is browsing what do you browse for never tell facebook or social media or twitter or your instagram any other social network as uh, you know that the area that you are browsing your browsing things should be useful spending time on social network may lead to bad impression on the candidates front if you even have this thing to this thing to speak to the hr confiding what you do then you should explain the good things you get through it or positive features of it and its good impact overall tell something other than what you search for how navin did it i browse for the new cars mobiles and i'm passionate on bike so i usually search for them and i also search for old historical places the interviewer will now test you whether you really browse for them or not it's not meant for just for the sake of answering that question because i'm sure the next question is going to come based on what navin has answered as expected the next question ought to come this way what is the newest car that you searched for and what is the price of it putting navi on the spot since navi was a very very believable his trust factor is great i know for sure he was very very truthful and honest utmost honest i like rolls royce cars they are very expensive the recent one is rolls royce phantom extensive i think and its cost is somewhere around 5 crores but i like it so much i wish to possess it at one point of time exhaustive explanation of what he's browsing is conscious lot so he's not fooling himself so he's very clear what he needs to answer explain about your long term and short term goals so when normally when you have uh, such a question coming your way i think long term goals are those which you want to become after a span of maybe 3 uh, to 5 years or maybe at a time of 5 years and short term goals are those which you want to become in a couple of years from now so always can take into consideration you know those 5 years take it take them into account split it into first two years and the next three years and spell it very very you know nicely how navin answers this question is i want to be in such a position uh, where i should be easily able to handle a team of 50 to 60 very ambitious with great communication skills and corporate skills towards my clients this is my long term goal but as of now my short term goal is to start up my career to achieve my long term goal 
for that i should work in a best platform where i can keep on learning some new things every year i want my new experience to be added to my to my previous year and that is where i want to start working with a growing organization like yours what a way naveen has answered <laughs>